What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optobotomus coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at the new Transformers Titans Return Legend Class Brawn. For the package, you got a really cool image of Brawn there on the back, really showcasing his strength, as well as the Transformers Text and Generation logo there on the side. And of course, you have an open window that fully showcases the figure as well as all of his accessories. On the back of the package, you have images of Braun, both in his vehicle as well as his robot form, as well as a little bio that says Braun loves a challenge, even if it's a Decepticon ten times his size. Now, this is actually a pretty interesting figure because we've already gotten in this line a Titan Master version of Braun, but this is obviously a full-size figure and not just a head. So all that being said, without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. And much like all of the Titans Return figures with the exception of the Titan Masters, he comes with his collector card with a full image of what is on the actual back of the packaging. And then on the back of the card you do have his tech specs with his strength all the way up to a 9, but his fire blast only had a 1, so he can arm wrestle you very well, but when it comes to shooting you, he's probably not going to win. And then as for the figure himself, as I said, this is a legend scale, so fits very, very nicely with, you know, that kind of mini bot sort of thing that, you know, Braun really kind of is. As you can see, it's kind of like a, a Hummer-ish sort of looking vehicle. You got some nice uh, silver and yellow detail here along the side. And then the rest of the body is uh, done in this green plastic. And then you got some black. You got a nice uh, Autobot logo right there in the very front. Uh, you got some uh, yellow painted kind of gas cans here in the front with some nice silver for the uh, the grill and the headlights. Uh, this top section here, you can see you got this kind of faux tire. This whole section here actually detaches and it's part of his weapon. Now you can remove it. And one thing that's actually nice is is you still have some molded detail uh, along the side here which kind of makes it like when you when you have that on there it, it looks pretty good but when you take it off it looks like it can also you know, pull off that look uh, with it not on there uh, now one thing that I'm noticing is like you can put this here on the top and it kind of gives it like these little you know top headlight kind of things and it puts the uh, spare tire more on the top kind of classic like for bronze so uh, I don't know if they necessarily intended for that but you could definitely do it if you really wanted to uh, I it, it, it is meant to go uh, like this though so both ways I think works really nice now as part of the uh, Titans return line yes he does have the interactivity with the Titan Masters all you do is lift this and you can even have the Titan Master version of Brawn and yes it, it, as you remember we did get one of those you can have Brawn drive himself uh, you just got the little uh, foot section here that you just put that and it's a little bit tricky to get it in there, just kind of wedge that in there, and then you know, I'll kind of keep him forward a little bit, and you could do that. Uh, I love it, I think that that's great. And I even like how it, you don't really have to undo anything to get it to do that. With, like say, Bumblebee, you had to kind of separate the back and then fold it. This, it just lifts up, so I think that's really cool. But overall, really nice detail, got some great molded in bits like along the section right here in the front, across the top and everything, so really very, very nice looking. Now, now, to transform him, get him, put that off to the side. You come around here to this. Now, part of the instructions, uh, you take this and you slide this out like that. Part of the instructions uh, actually do tell you to rotate his head around, but I, I don't think it's really all that necessary. But the head, uh, according to the instructions, does say that it's supposed to be like that. But when you had it like this, I mean, it, it, it really, I mean, unless you flip it on the bottom, you don't really notice it all that much. I mean, from the front, you don't really see it. So... I, I, I think it's personal preference. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to kind of do, but uh, I mean, like you could see, so you have it like that. I mean, it, it, it's not that big of a deal. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So you just rotate that out, rotate the uh, lower portion of the arms, do that on both sides, then come around to this back section. You go ahead and remove this piece. This actually does have to come off. And like I said, that'll be his weapon. And then you just fold these pieces out like so. You got the little bottom section here, which creates his heel spur pull that out separate these legs and there you have brawn in his robot mode and i, I love this uh, i think that this is 
mm-hmm. just about perfect. I, I can't think of a reason to not like this figure. I mean, everything about it is great. Uh, you do have this little handgun weapon. Uh, they, you got a couple different things here. You can have him hold it in his hand if you wanted to. You got the little the hole here on the side. You can put that there if you want. Or if you don't even want to use it at all, you just can come around here to the back and you can tab that right back on there. And I think that's perfectly fine. Now, if you want to, because he did have his Titan Master version, you can use this as a gun, I suppose. Just have him hold that, kind of have to hold it like that. Uh, you can do that if you really wanted to, although that is a really big gun for him. I mean, you have to kind of angle him back to balance, but I mean, he can do it. So, I mean, if you wanted to do something like that, you totally could. I, I just, I don't think it's really necessary all that much. But I love the way he looks. You can even be goofy if you want to and have him hold his the head if you want to. Head on! There you go. Look, I, I the head weapon. So you could do that. But great, great figure. I absolutely love him. Now, bringing in some others for a comparison. Uh, here he is next to the uh, new Bumblebee. Obviously, I have his arms swapped around. So you can see size-wise, they're pretty good. Uh, here is that a little bit older legend scale uh, Cosmos. But uh, again, I love that figure as well. Really good you know, scale uh, across the board. Kind of get these all out of the way so that I can bring in our little buddy the power glide so you can have that so you can see across the board these legend figures work very nicely for the mini bots and all of them really do look very very good I, I'm very happy with the uh, the overall G1 look of it you got the nice chest section here which really does look like brawn you got that nice Autobot logo there just great detail with the actual head you got that very dark gray helmet with some nice silver for the face and then the blue eyes uh, articulation wise the head as you can see does look left and right doesn't really look up and down but who cares you got that little hinge right here so you can move that and then you have the ball joint so you get a nice range of motion for the arms elbows here are on ball joint so you can rotate that forward and back and then spin it side to side if you really want to nothing at the waist unfortunately but the hips do have ball joints so you can rotate that forward and back and then he also does have an upper thigh swivel which is nice he also bends at the knee and I guess you could say he's got heel articulation so lots of different points of articulation on this guy uh, some really cool looks for him that you can get with it uh, Probably not a, a ton, but I mean, the fact that they have all those uh, points of joint there for you to use is really very nice. Uh, but everything on the figure, it really is very, very nicely done. I absolutely love the guy. Now, to transform, like I said, you can rotate the head. I'm not going to bother with it, though. Uh, come around here, put the heels back up and under uh, i guess one minor concern would be uh the little mushroom peg right here you have to kind of push that in there and well no I actually locked up in, in there very well so i don't have to worry too much about that uh, but i'm a little bit concerned sometimes with those little mushroom uh, posts it just feels sometimes like they're gonna snap and uh, this doesn't but you know you got to be worried about it at some point in time so putting that right up there rotate the arms around at the elbow tuck this up put that up along the side do that on this side as well tuck that up put that along the side and there you have oh, keep that all pushed in there there you have them back in his truck mode absolutely terrific figure though very nice updated sort of alt mode for brawn transformation is simple but obviously very effective in what it needs to do and that's creating a robot mode that absolutely looks spot on the colors the proportions all the detail look great on him I would honestly say of the new Titans Return Legend figures, Braun here is probably my favorite. Bumblebee looks really good, but you have to do some different manipulation to get him looking his best. And Wheelie is really nice looking too in both modes, but some of the tabbing isn't all that great. As for Braun here, all the way around, he's a great figure. Now, all that being said, if Braun here is a figure that you'd like to add to your collection, he should be hitting various retail locations fairly soon. So good luck and happy hunting. Or as always, there's Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on this guy, as well as the rest of the wide range of Transformers Titans Return figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomous. Don't forget that if you like this video, to please hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way towards helping me out, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video and you never miss out on a future review of mine.
or if you're already subscribed, be sure to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And as always, until next time, be excellent to each other. You're a